everyone, Mmau here and welcome to today's episode of Elite Dangerous. Now, I thought that I was recording a few seconds ago, but for some reason I hadn't clicked the button. And, uh, well, I, all you've missed out on is basically, I had a look to see if there was any missions on the starport that we were in. And there weren't really any missions to, uh, to gain. And I was also trying to upgrade my ship. Luckily enough, I didn't buy anything to upgrade my ship. I just went through a massive commentary that didn't record. So, anyway, we are now in space. We are heading towards the Erenin system. Well, we're going to jump to Erenin and then we're jumping through to Dahan. Hopefully to go and pick up some missions over there. Because it says that we need to head over there. And I think over Erenin is where you can learn about combat and stuff like that. Now... I want to go and start doing some more combat missions because, see, we've done missions where we can fly to and from places, dropping stuff off here and there with the rebel transmissions and with the data that we needed to do that time as well. But last mission, we went and did that Lindsay McClurg pirate bounty and that got us nearly 150 grand. You know, yeah, granted, we did get the other pirate on the way called Bonaparte, and he gave us 20 grand, but then we got 117,000 credits from that Lindsay McClurg fight, and we also got another 10,000 credits on top of that as the bounty from the Lindsay McClurg. So that puts her bounty to 127,000. And as I say, we got, I think we got 25,000 from taking out Bonaparte which kind of gives us a good sniff of the old amount of money that we can get through doing these missions where you can attack wanted players or wanted AI so what I think we should be doing is we're going to head to this uh, Azerbaijan Azerban? is it Azerban? I think that's where we're going to and we're going to go to Azerban city and drop down there and see if we can pick up a mission on that floor maybe even get some um some upgrades for our ship on there if there is any i don't know there may not be any upgrades or there may be upgrades that we can't afford but i think we should head to uh Azerban city i want to go and have a look at this place because we haven't been here and hopefully we'll be able to pick up another mission because we haven't taken any missions at the moment from the previous place so we're just going to quickly hyperspace, oh we are hyperspacing sorry, to this Azerban orbital and we should end up being near the uh, Azerban city which is also here and I want to show you the Azerban city spaceport. I've got to say right, it looks fantastic, it looks so cool. I mean, I, was, I, I noticed this online. I was looking at somebody's video the other day and I saw this spaceport and I thought, wow, I've got to do and go there and show the viewers who watch us play Elite Dangerous because it looks phenomenal. So I thought we're near close, we're pretty close to it. As you can see, it's not a normal space station. It's kind of a weird shape it looks like a dodecahedron or something like that i think that's how you say it anyway a 12-sided object which i think that's even got more than 12 sides should we say hang on one two three four five i think that's got 14 sides so i don't know what a 14-sided uh space station would be called if somebody could let us know down in the comments below but there you go, as you can see, that is Azerban City. Right, can we land on your battle station please? Because we want to come and see what it looks like inside. I think we need to, it's really weird to land in this one as well to be honest with you. That's where we're going to. Now we've got to look for the open port, which looks like an exhaust port on the Death Star. So let's see if we can communicate with them. There's a side one. Someone must be flying around in here. Okay, there it is. Can we request docking? Let's lock, lock onto it. Now request a docking. 
Okay, we've got to land on pad 28. So, straight away, you can see that this is going to have more landing pads than the usual spaceports that we've been landing at. You know, like the research facility that we've been landing on. That only has like two or three spaceports. This has got, well, over 28, obviously, because they want us to land on number 28. I don't know how many they actually have inside but you will see in a minute we've got to try and find the entrance i'm going a little bit too fast we need to slow it right down a little bit to be fair i'm hoping that we don't get a fine here as well for going too fast please conform to aligned protocols reduce your speed commander that ah, right he's telling us we've got to reduce our speed so right let's take that down there is the entrance now on the way you can see there's like television boards like floating around in space playing space adverts this look I, i've got to say this is so cool it reminds me of uh of blade runner oh we're coming in a little bit quick right this is the port we've got to go in look and you can see they've got turrets there ready to shoot us down if we don't cooperate with what they tell us to do but look at this place this looks so cool inside there's the uh there's one of the the landing bays and if you go around you can see other docking bays as well and there's all talk going on as you come into land it looks so cool there's number 28 which we need to land on so let's turn our spaceship the other way up and then slow it down and start descending don't want to go down too quick there we go there's landing pad number 28 i just had to show you this space station it looks so cool i mean this i would love to be able to get off the ship and then just go and explore this is the sort of thing that needs to come into this game going off the ship and exploring in the space stations it is so cool but I think it looked absolutely brilliant in here. And as I say, I saw it on a video the other day and I thought we're near to it. So we might as well go and explore it ourselves. But there you go. Look at how cool that looks inside. We're facing the right way. We're coming in for a perfect landing again. I'm really getting the hang of this landing. And there we go. Let's touch down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, God damn it. Wrong button. I know it's a no fire zone. I've got to put my hard points away. There we go. Hard points are away. We overshot that as well. I don't know why I pressed for the hard points to come out there. Or, well, I pressed to attack. That could have ended up really badly. Right, anyway, we are uh, just going to level up the ship and then go down. There we go. We are at Aziban City. It looks so cool here. Right, let's go and see what they've got to do in Starport Services. Maybe they will allow us to have a uh, a few missions from here. It says, Welcome, Commander M. Mao. Azaban City Services are at your disposal. So, right. So, let's have a look at the mission board. What can we do here? Assassinate deserter Jim Epics. You may have your uses... But it is instructions that you will obey from now on. Do you understand? We're engaged in a civil war with the Erenin People's Party at the moment. So, the Erenin Expeditionary Institute is at civil war with, uh, with obviously, the Erenin other people. Now, they've got this mission to assassinate the de deserter, Jim Epics, with the right individuals removed this civil war would become easier to win so do we get involved in this civil war and do we help them out i mean we've got to fly to morgor between 1420 and 1550 now we're at 1440 so we're 20 minutes into the mission if we do choose to take this mission on so i think we should go for it i mean morgor's only what one or two jumps away three jumps away to Morgor we could go and get that we could then go and take out Jim Epics and that is going to give us a hundred odd thousand credits again for doing it so we'll take that mission definitely and uh, let's go hunting
Okay, let's get out of this starport. Let's head back up to the uh, to the takeoff pad, and let's see if we can help these people out and end this civil war by going and getting this deserter. Who? Well, I don't even know where he is, but he's a couple of jumps away, so he's started to get away from us. So we need to uh, take off now. There's other ships coming in and out of this place. So we've got to be careful that we don't crash into them. So we need to go down to launch. Click launch and we, we need to take off straight. Allow for oncoming traffic in the corridor. There we go. It's saying to allow for oncoming traffic. So there's obviously other ships coming in and using this spaceport. I just think it looks so phenomenal. I, I love this starport. You know, and the starports that are like this. And I can imagine that as we go further into space, they're only going to get bigger and better. I can just imagine it now. Well, I'm hoping that that's the case. Right, so we've taken off. Now we need to just slowly go out of this weird door port thing. There's one coming in. Look, oh, I think we need to... I don't know how we go out of this. I think we just, I don't know if we just time it at the right time and just get out of there as fast as we can. I think that's probably the best idea to do. Oh, oh, we're going too high. No, let's go down, let's go down. Oh dear, I think we're going out the in port. That's, that's really bad. <laughs> I think we've gone out the in way. Never mind. Nobody said anything. I don't think they saw us on camera. Oh, I don't know. Accesses by Starcraft permission only. Trespassers will be eliminated. Okay, so we just got told off by the uh, by the starport there for going out the inn. <laughs> oh dear. Right, I think the way that we're supposed to go out of that starport is to go where it's green. out. Okay, so we've left the area of that starship, uh, sorry, that starport. We are now on our way to hunt for Jim Epics. So let's jump to the Aurelius Primus system and then we'll jump to Morgor and hopefully we'll be able to find the deserter as soon as we can. So let's get the frame shift drive online. Hopefully, we'll be able to do the hyperspace straight through to Morgor. Via the magic of video editing, we have done a jump of three star systems without having to watch them all. <laughs> and we've come out of space pretty close to the sun. We need to fly away because we're overheating quickly. We were overheating as we did the last jump, to be honest with you, but I obviously edited that out. So we are now flying around in Morgor space and we need to go and find Jim Epics. Now, to find him, we have to go to the nav beacon as usual and find where this deserter is sitting in the uh, in space in this area. So let's have a look. Let's see what we can do. Where is the nav beacon? Let's target that. Okay, and we're coming out of hyperspace supercruise speed now, so we can safely disengage. The nav beacon. Now we need to tap to where that is. There's the navigation beacon. Let's just slowly fly up to it. We're 1.4 kilometers out. We don't want to go flying past it. And there we go. Mission updated. Assassinate deserter Jim Epics. Where is he? Let's have a look. Can we find it? There's a mission upgrade. It says that he is pretty close by the looks of it. Morgor 3A, that's where we've got to head to. So, 
Let's see if we can find Morgore 3A. I think that's actually pretty close to this nav beacon. Oh, is it? Is it the other side? No, hang on, where is it? We need to find the jump point. Where's the jump point? Okay. Ah, right, no. My mistake. It's, uh... Two point something light years over there. So let's get up to uh, speed, hit the frame drive, and quickly jump to uh, Morgor 3. Okay, so we're around this. I've actually managed to uh, come out of hyperspace just at the top of the planetary orbit. So, the mission has also been detected around this planet. So, we need to now quickly lock on to there and see if we can find it. It's telling us to slow down already. So, we're pretty slow as it is. We're not going really, really fast. So, let's see if we can find where this mission is. We are pretty close to it already. There it is. It's up on the screen. We can just head to that slowly. And then hopefully we'll pull out of hyperspace right next to it. And Jim Epics should be around here. Unless he pulls us out of hyperspace, obviously. Because he can pull us out of hyperspace if he's got an FSD on his ship. Alright, let's pull out of hyperspace. And we've got our hard points loaded. So let's have a look. There's a ship. Is that the guy? There's Jim Epics. He's targeted. Right, so... We need to take him down. Jim Epic, stop. In the name of the Galactic Police. We're, we, well, we're not Galactic Police. You better stop. Oi, this is just a routine traffic stop. We have to finish you off, deserter Jim Epic. So come quietly. Or we will have to destroy you. It doesn't look like he's going to come quietly. It looks like he's making a run for it. So... We need to speed up a little bit so we don't get shot down. He's got no shields already. Our gun seems to be doing a good job. Oh, God, he come back at us that way. Oh, my word. Let's slow it down. Jim Epics, stop. Please do not make me destroy you. He's wanted as well, so he knows that he's uh, he shouldn't be deserting. And he isn't going to stop. So I think that we're going to have to just destroy him. I think that's what they want us to do anyway. His shields are regenerating. Our guns are not very powerful at all. See, this is a sort of uh, fight that I thought we was going to be having up with um, that Lindsay McClurg yesterday when we did her. But it looks like this gym guy's... He's flying away from us at speed as well. We don't seem to be able to catch him. He's gone. He's jumped out of the system. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's escaped. I don't believe that. I do not believe that. I didn't think that he'd be able to escape from the fight. Well, we know in future that we need to kill things a lot quicker than what we are able to kill stuff. I mean, we took him down to zero shields, but we wasn't able to get the final kill. That kind of sucks. But we've still got another couple of hours that he could suddenly turn back up here. I don't guess if he will. I don't know if he will. I mean, he could have just gone. That may be the end of the mission. But it's still saying that we've got the mission in our in our thing now. Normally, if you fail a mission, it disappears from there. So maybe he may come back. Who knows? But we do need to go and get some fuel. So I'm going to quickly head to the nearest spaceport and hopefully refuel our ship and then maybe come back here unless he suddenly turns up on the way there so thanks everyone for watching 
I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I will see you on the next one where hopefully we will be able to finish off Gym Epics. So till then, thanks for watching. I've been ML. Take care and bye for now.